Hey folks, Quillyteen here to welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. In the last episode, I left things in sort of a semi-precarious situation. Like, we're not being immediately threatened, but there are death yaks about. Um, and I guess they spawn on D9, and they probably were guarding the entrance to the lair. Having spread them out at this point may actually be the best solution to that, because I would very much like to go into lair. <clears throat> we should be able to do more or less okay. I mean, might, we may want to go down a bit in dungeons first. We'll see. Uh, I think we've left a couple of death yaks on this floor. Um, I mean, these these are old remnant images, but I'm pretty sure we had two on this floor. There's a downstairs we haven't explored yet. And if we take a look at the level below, the problem is two of the, the stairs we have found are rather close together. Now, if we knew for sure that the third stair down was safe, right, which is over here, then I'd be very tempted to maybe quaff a potion of haste and just run uh, to this staircase and go down. But we don't know that. I think what I'm going to do, first of all, I am going to eat a ration over here to get rid of the hunger to make sure we don't run out suddenly while we're having to do a bunch of fleeing. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go down the stairs here again. Um, yeah, okay, the death yaks are right there. That's a little bit less than great. And we're going to drag a lot of stuff up. Uh, we're going to blink. And then I'm very happy to have brought more death yaks up because now I don't remember if there's another one still left there, but we may be just out of death yaks to worry about. So um, what now might be the thing is to try to get to another downstair, say this one over here or something like that. For now, I'm just going to focus on losing the death yaks, um, <clears throat> which I don't think they run faster than me. We do have the ring of stealth, which is kind of interesting. We only got two pips of stealth, though. Um, I think the thing to do for now is to drop a mephitic cloud. Now, the chance of resisting a mephitic cloud is based on your hit dice. They, they probably have a very high chance of resisting the mephitic cloud. So I'm going to hope they follow me around to the right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come around this way. I might Mythetic again. Ah, kill you. I was hoping that the Confused Yak would slow down the other one. Because here's the thing, I don't feel comfortable. All right, let's 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 just run up these stairs. <clears throat> I don't feel comfortable going immediately down the stairs. There's less threatening stuff down there. Um, by the way, you can use the square brackets to look down. <clears throat> I don't think we had vision down here when we came down the stairs. So I don't think these are here anymore. Um, this priest is probably this priest. And I'm not as worried about a single priest anymore. I feel fairly secure just dropping down. But what the uh, interesting thing is here, if we go down this stair, we come up over here. And then depending on where those death yaks are positioned, we're gonna peek down these stairs. Okay, so in theory, we might now be on a death, death yak-less floor. Floor with no death yaks. So I think we may have dodged a bit of danger there. <clears throat> I mean, there's a whole other kind of danger here, but that'll be okay. We'll just bring you around. I'll go and summon a couple of buddies. And by a couple, of course, I mean three. I'm going to move into melee so that he doesn't do as much damage. And then I will zap the heck out of him with magic darts. Rest. Give a corpse you do. Rest some more. Okay, stairs leading down. Now that's a big open room. Oh, lag. That's dangerous. Because I did double tap my movement there, so. Peek. Okay, we're fine. Check this doorway. Okay. Another stair down. I'm gonna just snoop a boot around a little bit more. And we do still have the rage around our neck. I don't know what like reminded us that we had it here. Why would it say that? I don't know. Well, maybe um, it's possible that the RC file that I'm using has pre-bound hotkeys for, for certain types of items. I'm using um, um, uh, words are hard to remember. Um, oh my God. Hang on. One sec, I feel dumb. Uh, uh, Ultraviolet 4. 
There you go. I just I just remembered it. I was l starting to do a search and I just remembered. Okay, Ultraviolet Four, who's a um, a YouTuber, doesn't have a lot of followers. I think he just he just plays Dungeon Crawl. Uh, he is wonderful. You should definitely watch him. Uh, I'm using his RC file um, because it's got a bunch of like great little binds and customizations put in. And it's possible that that's what it was. And I got the message about the Amulet of Rage because it maybe it like swapped the keys around or something like that. Um, okay, so the area around the staircase is fine. So if we have to drag something up, we're okay. I'm just gonna kill this Crimson Imp. Okay. Oh, um, one of the things you can do if you've got Beam following you in here, someone else is watching too. Hello, Flug. Um, is you can put in a request for your current AC. Uh, I don't remember if it's just base AC or not. Maybe it is. Not base AC, but from your base armor. I'm not sure. And find out how much armor skill it takes to generate one AC. So I did go and put a target of 2.75 for armor um, for our hunt. Well, we'll just round it up here to 2.8 uh, because it should give us one extra point of AC when we get there. And I don't know if we're going to be training a lot else, but I wanted a couple points just to reduce the cast failure of wearing these various armors. And I thought, ah, let's check to see if there's a good break point. I'm just gonna rest here. Okay, nothing else came. We'll pop back up. Unless I wanna abandon this floor completely, but you know, I think lair entrance is here and I think it, the death yaks are probably gone. Rest. It's mostly okay. In fact, what's the range on my cloud? Yeah, because you can effectively cast this one tile further than it looks. Um, Maybe I'll zap. I'll bring you across over here. Move forward. I will cloud you. Oops. Enter, like. There we go. You gotta, like, click back in here. Oh, that's something I, I always forget. The Mephetic Cloud is super duper loud. And therefore may not be something I want to spam cast. What's interesting here is I could have gone down the stairs to run. Normally you think of running upstairs for safety, but we know the downstairs are safe. But yeah, I gotta be a little bit more careful with my Mephetic Cloud because of the noise. Fudge, this is actually more terrifying than Death Yaks. Cause these things are fast and they poison you to slow you down at the same time. I'm gonna blink. There was a high chance that it moved this away this way, which is good. I'm actually thinking I might just read a teleport. Well, I'll do another blink, because blink blinks you anywhere visible. So statistically there, it had a really good chance of continuing to move me away from threats. But yeah, you're gonna catch up to me. <sighs> Teleporting is a huge risk. I don't have a scroll of blinking. Yeah, we're sort of in the same situation as where we were before. Where it's like, oh my god, this is <clears throat> kind of nasty. Now, they do have fairly low MR. 33 HP. I mean, maybe if I hit um, Shift-V, Shift-B, only a 37% chance to defeat MR. Yeah, that's really bad. If I haste, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know the actual um, numerical values of hasting. I'm not sure that it would be faster than the Hornets, and I probably should just look it up. But... How do I feel about teleporting on this level? There's clearly a lot of insanely dangerous shit on this level. There's so much of it I don't know. Do I just keep like rando blinking and hope that it like drops me on the staircase or, or near to the staircase? Well, there's no harm in blinking now. Yeah, that wasn't helpful. Eventually they'll paralyze me. Yeah, I still can't make it to the stair from here. Um, What if I mephetic them? Because most insects are not resistant. Blink. Well. Um, blink. There we go. Like, there we go. They're both confused. Oh, I got, I did get paralyzed for a second, but they're still confused. Let me drink the potion of agility. 
for some evasion bonus. Okay, no longer confused, but there we go. We've got you. I want to stab you while you're confused. No, oh, he did get me. Blink to here. We'll quaff a curing. I mean, he's still, or he's not confused right now, he's distracted. Because I think the confusion wore off, right? Let's hit him with a disintegration. It's only 50 50 chance, but there we go. All right. Rest, rest, rest. Poison tomahawks. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm not playing on trunk. I'm playing 0.23. I'm like, why is it a tomahawk and not a, um, a boomerang? But yeah, I'm on 0.23 here as opposed to trunk. Which I thought might be a little bit differently balanced. That might be worth picking up. Uh, I'm not going to open the door yet. I'm just going to check these hallways first. Okay. Let me go and summon a couple imps before I open this. Oh, it's empty. All right. The rooms sometimes hide more nastiness. Okay, let's find that priest. Or a regular yak. See, a regular yak is fine. Shit, there's another there is another death yak over here. Alright, you're poisoned. Don't attack. Okay, another regular yak. things behind us are fairly safe. Yeah, my was killed. Um, because we've cleared all that. We know this downstair is safe. Although leaving a death yak at the top of the stairs is a little terrifying. But Because <clears throat> if we suddenly have to retreat, things are bad. Let's try to move, generally speaking, towards the southeast here, towards another known staircase. And we might try to be somewhat quiet. So maybe avoid mephetics here. Howler monkey is very loud. I don't even want to pick up a potion. Because the howler monkey, you know, howls. There's no way that's a single killer bee. But the nice thing is they are going to be fairly vulnerable to a mephetic cloud. Um, although, or my, my poison weapon. Cloud there. I have potions of curing. Translocation. Um, how are we looking? Oops, not that screen. Um, blink is now point a four percent failure rate. Okay, that to me is very acceptable. All right, there's our target for armor. It did not give it an extra AC point, because yeah, I think the armor bonus is base AC. Um, maybe, is it not including the pluses? Maybe it doesn't include the pluses. Yes, I think that's it. So in fact, what I should have put in for the command here is say AC six. So 3.67 skill. I think that's fairly likely. I'm going to go ahead and try to, to hit one of these breakpoints here. Um, so we'll turn armor back on, train armor to 3.7. I think we'll get one extra point of AC out of that, and again, avoid some of the spell failure. I'm going to stand here and rest. Fairly good, you know, vision and good escape points. We are hungry and you can't eat these corpses, which is, you know, annoying. And you're starving. All right, we'll eat a ration. Corner, poisoned needles. He has a whole new 
poison revamp in trunk as well. Uh, centaur, we should be able to kill here. Let me get you a little confused, buddy. And then just zap you to hell. Excellent. Plus two ring of dexterity. I don't think we're interested in that. Not that we're wearing particularly sexy rings. We could maybe lose the stealth or something. But honestly, I think the stealth is doing a little bit more for us than a um, ring of dexterity would right now. Let's finish you with a stab. Rest. Okay. Uh, regular spear. Escape hatch over there. We'll just make sure this area is clear, in case we do want to run away to where the escape hatch is. So shift in a direction key is a fairly safe way to move in one direction. This does stop you uh, at certain corners. In the, okay, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna make sure this area here is clear in case I need to go back down the stair. Okay, poke up. All right, that's fine. So we have a death yak that's left up here. We did kill those wasps, which is nice. I do sort of want to keep exploring here. There's enough cleared that we can fairly reliably escape with the uh, death yak, especially with the boost from our blink from time to time. Let me just check the other side of this door before I open this and wake up whatever's inside. Plus doors have a chance to squeak, depending on your stealth rating. Um, and that can alert people. And I guess we'll open up front up. Okay. I'll open all the doors so we have a few more movement options going forward. There we go, creaked loudly. So let me pull away from the noise to near the staircase, which we know is relatively safe, just in case anything did come. But so far, so good. All right, I'll do some auto explorer. There's the entrance to lair. And again, the death yaks were almost certainly just guarding that. The death yaks are considered like the most dangerous um, creature in lair. Over should be fine for us to do. Get on my way, Imp. Excellent. We got a potion. That's a wand of enslavement. Do we have a, whoops, identify scroll? We do. I think it's probably worth, uh, maybe we'll save it in case we find like a random artifact spear or something like that that we may not want to risk putting on. Um, because it could be, what is it, like distortion where we remove it and it can do bad things? That is two priests. And a step forward, drop a cloud over here, break line of sight. If they want to walk through it, that's fine. Or it'll just delay them. There we go. I mean, even with our just our magic dart here, which is at full power now, like we're starting to do okay damage with it. I mean, it's still a pretty weak thing. We're at dungeon level nine. We haven't found another spell book yet. And what, in our, was it our last run where we found like the same book we started with? Which is kind of annoying. Artifact helmets we can't wear. That's uh, oh, you are raging. Um, let me blink. That is not a helpful blink. That is also not a helpful blink. Thank you. I don't know if you can be confused if you're raging. Yes, you can. There we go. Okay, a little bit laggy, but that's fine. More corpse, hand axe. Um, move to the, oh, I was hoping to break line of sight. I guess he hadn't really noticed me. Zap. There's the good guy, although the imp is in the way for me to... I probably don't have to worry about a smite here, and that's just loud. But you know what? It's just going to bring the rest of those orcs around the corner, and it's actually a fairly safe place to fight them. Rest. Okay. Corpses and things. Right. Um, I may have just wanted to leave him alone. Uh, oh. Um, hang on. ZF. out of range just put it as far as as close as you can there you go he got confused uh he's just distracted now not confused that's that confusion oh my god he shakes that off quick that's not as good of a blink as i would like neither is that okay most of the floor 
if not all the floor at this point, is clear. So we can sort of just kite backwards fairly safety here. I could drag up the stairs again. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to pop down these stairs, which I know are safe. Rest. I think I'm going to start exploring this floor. Um, I can't remember. There was someone I didn't want to wake up down there, but there's not even a ghost image of it. Oh, there it is. Right, it was the Howler Monkey. I want to avoid the noise. Um, so what's clear in an opposite direction first? So that the Howler Monkey has fewer things to wake up. I'm ignoring the axe. Because I think we are, we're probably going to be locking on pole arms. Although, I mean, maybe it was a really good axe. Now it protects you from the effects of miscast magic. So, I mean, we can still fail... But we don't get the bad effect from failing, so we could take risks with high failure risk spells. Stairs going down. Uh, let me just peek a little bit more here before I open this door. Okay. Yep, the should be fine. Spell casting level 7. Killed. Crocodile, also fine. Oh yeah, I got Fetic is loud. Still, that was okay. Um, you are gonna drain my magic way. Luckily, you move very slowly. I guess there's a death yak waiting on top of this stair. Okay. Actually, don't think we got the AC up, so I might still be doing something wrong with that. But I'm gonna. Fine. I will train armor to exactly four to avoid the odd numbers and then I will I will stop for a while so yeah just straight up doing spell casting and fighting right now kind of very generic we don't know what we're gonna find yet um, I mean maybe I could boost some of these powers but we're getting a power boost to kind of everything by just doing spell casting so I'll just leave it on for now it's not like we won't appreciate having it for the extra mana and just less hunger for our powered spells and more spell power later on open that door to give us movement options uh, going forward um, let's go over here, pop this door, although I sort of expect it to be empty since it's been quiet. Um, since it's so quiet around here, I will drop down. Trident would definitely be an upgrade to our spear. And I'll grab it, may as well butcher that. Kill you before I go down. There we go. Excellent. Um, are we in any danger? Just in case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Ice Blast here. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. It's like it's like a fireball thing. It's like, is there a good way to do this? Hmm. What I could do is I could put the Mephetic Cloud here. Slight positioning advantage. I will um, blink. Miscast, and now I don't have enough mana. Awesome. I need three, right? Let's see, he'll close on me now. Move a little bit this way. Blink to a very bad location. Yeah, you're not fast. You have multi attacks, which is annoying. So we'll just kite around this block. Regen a bunch of our stuff. We're hungry, but not critically so. Um, excellent. Stay confused. level 4. Still didn't gain that XP point, so I'm clearly doing something wrong with that. Da -na 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 -na. Okay. 
So there's the eye of mana draining. I'm do, I was gonna say, if I find it, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spam out my imps, tell them to go and attack. And then stab you. Okay. Potion of Degen, the scrolls, right, there's the Howler Monkey, which he might still draw some stuff. Okay, he died. So far, so good. Begin to feel hungry. Iron Wand of Acid. Okay. All right. This level is cleared. I know we're very hungry. Um, I'll put the Phantom up. Oh, did he blink instead of following me? Pull him up. There we are. And just sort of fight him on our own. Uh, I guess we'll eat. I don't think the Sky Beast leaves a corpse that we can eat. I think back in the day he left. He dropped a mutagenic corpse. Boom. Adder. Not really a threat anymore. Ditto. Coqua. Rarely a threat. They do move fast is the only thing. Cyclops. Pretty scary. Okay. We're going to go and walk to the entrance of Lair. He didn't technically notice me. I would like to drag him away from the Lair entrance. Yeah, I can't really disintegrate him. That wasn't really a thing that was going to be in the cards for us. We still haven't found a shield, right? God damn. Come over this way. Now, you don't have hands, as far as I know. So stay in that room. All right, lair. So, I mean, you know, there's definitely can be some dangerous things in here. Um, Hydras, Cataplipas, um, and Death Yaks. Although, I think Death Yaks will be closer to the bottom of lair. Crocodiles are kind of a pain to kill for us. Uh, that was our level 8 spellcasting target. Well, there's a Hydra. Um, now, as far as I know, you're not in any way resistant to poison. Uh, mm, by that I mean, of course, Hydras are resistant to poison. Therefore, I cannot Mephetic Cloud them. On the other hand, what I can do, and they are fast, so be careful about that. Uh, okay, apparently he'll walk into fire. Okay, well, stand in the fire. And I don't think I want to mess around. I think I'm going to burn some disintegration. I got a wand of acid too, which is really strong. We can do a line attack. What are we looking at here? Oh, only a 30% chance to defeat MR. Hmm. All right, let's use acid, which also uh, corrupts or corrodes his armor. Um, I think between that and the fire, I think I can sit here. There we go, and finish him off that way. Well, that was a very tough thing to encounter. This literally the first thing we encountered in lair, a lair that was guarded by death yaks. Let's cast. Really need a more powerful spell book. Okay, the other thing is we could consider, like, maybe I should be, oops, trying um, these axes we found. The Ruined War Axe, maybe I should grab it. A box of Beasts, I don't think. Is that Crocodile confused about how to Pathfind to me? 
I've never seen something sort of wiggle back and forth like that before. Any chance you're slow enough that I'll be able to... No. Ow. Bring the Komodo dragons, man. I was hoping to put fire as a blocker here. You can still get to me if you want to. Um, yeah, plus zero spear. Well, I mean, I guess I'll wield it. Oh, the trident. Fire's about to wear off, though. Blink me somewhere slightly better. Alright, that is slightly better. What I'm going to do is back to the stairs. Hope we don't randomly run into something along the way. Are you, um... You're not poison resistant. Um, but I don't want to risk you not getting poisoned or me miscasting. And then having to drag you up. Alright, let's try this again. Blink. There you go. Didn't I, I have to miscast one? There's my white imps. Especially this guy is vulnerable to cold. There we go. The white imps do more damage. Let's reset again. The white imps do more damage and do cold, which can slow down um, lizard type people. Like, I feel like we're not really at a risk of dying. It's just a question of how much work is it going to be to kill this guy. I mean, I've got consumables, but I don't think we need to use them. Um, I should probably enchant my troll leather armor some more. Now, the weapon, I'm going to save until we find like maybe a branded spear or something. At which point we'll probably start training up our pole arms. It'll depend on like what we find. There's a white imp. Oh, you're standing in fire. Only 50-50 chance. But yeah, there we go. Alright, done. Another five-headed harger? Are you freaking kidding me? Give me a white imp. All right, whatever. Go there and die. There we go. So he'll at least be able to um, slow things down a little. Or not, he'll instantly kill my white imp. Okay. I don't really want to use more acid charges. But I'm kind of feeling like I've got to treat these guys super seriously. Um, I will teleport, or blink rather, but not very far away. So now my imps aren't in line of sight, although I don't think it matters that much. All right, get corroded some more. If I put the fire here, are you just gonna stand in? No, you are gonna sidestep that. You're not that dumb. Ugh. These blinks are insufficient. And yeah, this guy's fast. I'm gonna move away slightly. Try to give me a little bit of time for my mana to reset and also try to get positioning. Yeah, we're just gonna have to... That hurts to use these consumables. It really does, because we're gonna want a wand of acid later. But... Come at me, Bullcrunk. Oh, yeah, there's a little plant in the way. Yeah, there you go. Walk around. There you are. Because I can kill you with ease, so. Spirit in a puff. 
the bullfrog. We don't have our elect, so I'm hoping not to run into um, any eels there. Did you insta kill my white imp? Um, walking through deep water is pretty bad. I can attack without penalty in or shallow water rather. Uh, can attack without penalty in shallow water, but it still slows me to move. Oh yeah, and I forgot these are like super fast too. Resistant to poison. still reach me by going around. And then he's just going to avoid. Like, I can't outrun him. We do have a high chance of, of avoiding his Amara there, so it's kind of okay. We need a serious power bump. Can I just look for all weapons? Glowing dagger. The demon whip we don't have enough money for. Although it would be great. I mean, it's plus five demon whip. That's already good. And it's got the MR and anti-magic. Like, it's insane. But we're not even halfway to the amount of gold we need to buy it. I mean, we're almost halfway, but... I should have just gone for a different god. I probably should have gone for Hep or something. I mean, I can train in a weapon, but our weapons are shit. Like, whoops. Yeah, I don't think more power. Um, Mephetic Cloud. What does spell power do? A spell power affects the duration, so it's meaningless. For Mephetic Cloud. And I think that might be true with Conjure Flame as well. I mean, I can't drop the Conjure Flame on anyone. I suppose I could study up slow and hex some more people and then have an easier time kiting. Um, call Imp. So increase in spell prob in spell power. The probability of crimson e imp decreases. And the duration goes up as you get more skills in here. I'm wondering like should I just summon or research some more summoning here, which will be useful for potentially some later stuff. I mean, I'll throw it in. We'll keep fighting on. And I guess nothing else. But yeah, we'll we'll do the summoning. Our call imp will get a little bit better, and maybe we can use it for other things. But I mean, there's another freaking um, spiny toad on this floor, and we had to like use consumables for just the one. And there's going to be more in lair. It's lair. There's going to be lots of that shit. I'm kind of okay with this. Fill the whole thing with gas. Hmm. I didn't realize there was a Komodo dragon in there too. You are not getting confused. I guess I'm gonna have to keep relying on consumables for now. 7% chance to defeat MR. Okay, well. The acid we only have one charge of. So are we even gonna be able to kill this guy? Blink. That is not a helpful blink. That's a little better. Okay, I need to move out of that so I don't actually get turned into stone. Mm. 
Maybe you just run around the bush or something. Man, he breathes that shit a lot. I'm trying to save my mana mostly for more summons. weapons we found I mean we still got the falcon we've got the short sword of electrocution I don't know if we go to toe to toe all right let's go find that ruined the ruined not ruined ruined war axe we'll wield it all right it's just a curse weapon we don't even have that many removed curse scrolls um wow really hope that it was gonna be some sort of I don't know what I don't know what it could have been to save our bacon. A glowing dagger. I mean, even if it's a dagger poison or something. Can we just like rob the storekeeper? Could this be net pack? Mace of crushing? No. Dagger freezing? No. I mean, I've got rage, but that's we're not going to be able to rage through this. We've got the poison tomahawks, maybe? Thanks for miscast magic. Nothing for us to memorize. Right, let me eat. Here's what we're going to do, even though it's not going to help us very much. I'm going to go to dungeon three. Um, and by that, I mean we're going to get interrupted by running into a death yak. Right, there's a crap ton of death yaks in this level that we left behind. <sighs> All right, it's time for me to put a cut in here so I can take a moment and think. We have three scrolls we have not identified. A brand would be good. Requirement would be good. A summoning <laughs> could help us potentially defeat some crap. I'm... The thing is, in this case, summoning's the only one where I'll want to be able to cast in combat to save us. If I were to just read right now, I think that would be okay. Um, do I want to read? Yeah, I'm going to wield the, uh, the tri... I guess it doesn't matter what I wield. I get to choose. But if we can brand a, put a decent brand on a trident. Okay, read E, a scroll of fog, okay. Read G, silence, uh, so I can't read right now, okay. Um, read H, brand weapon. All right, yes, let's brand the trident. Poison trident, Um, that's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna set a skill target we're gonna to start to actually work on pole arms, although it'll take a long time before we reach any kind of min delay. But that's a start, and I'm thinking, I'm going to read enchant weapon up for the trident. We're sort of going all in on it to hope that, you know, something will come of this. But yeah, the trident has the base damage nine. It's better than the spear. It's fairly quick. I mean, it's not a hard hitting weapon, but it's one handed. So if we actually ever found a goddamn shield. Wait. Oh, we did run into a buckler finally, but the problem is we're too big to use a buckler. Our very first shield we found is a buckler, which of course, I mean, statistically, like you're gonna find bucklers usually quicker than everything else. But by the time you get to lair, oh, for crying out loud. I'm thinking I might go down the dungeon for a little bit more and see what we can do there because Lair is definitely stomping us. Um, let me turn off summonings for now. 
I'm actually, you know what? I'm even going to turn off fighting for now. We're just going to go all in on the pole arms to try to bring it down. Because right now the swing time is 1.3. So, we, I mean, that's, you know, we definitely want to bring it down as quickly as possible. So we'll put all our training into pole arms. And, you know, pray, 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 pray as hard as we can that we can get something going next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. See you then.